Mark Fisher, born in 1968, was an influential English writer, music critic, political and cultural theorist, philosopher, and teacher based at Goldsmiths, University of London. Mark Fisher's contributions span various fields, including radical politics, music criticism, and popular culture. He gained recognition through his blog, K-Punk, in the early 2000s. His insightful writings on these subjects resonated with readers and established him as a prominent figure in intellectual discourse. In addition to his online presence, Fisher published several books, notably the widely acclaimed, Capitalist Realism, Is There No Alternative? His writings appeared in respected publications such as The Wire, Fact, New Statesman, and Sight and Sound. Fisher also co-founded Zero Books and later Repeater Books, further solidifying his impact on contemporary intellectual and cultural spheres. Joseph Marie Veen, a French painter, began his artistic journey with the support of Comte de Calus. He started learning art at a young age in the studio of Nato Iyer. In 1745, he achieved great success by winning the Grand Prix. He then spent time in Rome, studying nature and honing his skills. Inspired by the magnificent works of art surrounding him, Wien developed his own unique style, although it differed greatly from the popular style of the time. Despite facing initial resistance, he was eventually admitted to the Academy, thanks to the support of François Boucher. One of his notable paintings, Deadless and Icarus, can now be found in the Louvre. During the peak of his career, Wien became the director of the School of France in Rome. However, he declined to mentor Jacques-Louis David, believing that David was too old to be guided by him. After five years, Wien returned to France. Unfortunately, the French Revolution brought turmoil to his life and career, leaving him devastated. Despite the challenges posed by the Revolution, Wien continued to create art in his later years. In 1796, at the age of 80, he even won a government competition, showcasing his remarkable talent. His skills were recognized by Napoleon Bonaparte, who appointed him as a senator. Wien passed away in Paris and was laid to rest in the crypt of the Pantheon. As both an artist and a teacher, he had a significant influence on numerous talented individuals, such as François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Sauvy, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagier, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and his own son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a renowned painter. In conclusion, Mark Fisher was a multifaceted and influential figure in the intellectual and cultural landscape. His wide-ranging contributions in radical politics, music criticism, and popular culture made a lasting impact. Through his blog, K-Punk, and his thought-provoking books like, Capitalist Realism, Is There No Alternative?, Fisher captivated readers and established himself as a prominent voice in contemporary discourse. As a co-founder of Zero Books and Repeater Books, he further solidified his influence in intellectual circles. Mark Fisher's insightful writings and critical analysis will continue to shape conversations and inspire future generations.